Good morning. This is George Kachuk with RCM Wealth Advisors reporting to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago. What I'd like to talk about this morning is the state of the equity markets. Uh, since two weeks ago when the NASDAQ hit 5,000, the market volatility kind of returned. And there is a sense of some caution, meaning we have uh, about five days of heavier selling, so-called distribution day on the NASDAQ, and about six on the S&P 500. So despite the selling, however, we do see a lot of good things underlying the market. So that makes it a little bit difficult. So let me just point out some of the things and the things you should look for or different ways of playing it. So if we took it, take a look at stocks, if we look at the NASDAQ, might be set up in a trading range now between the 5,000 to perhaps might even go down to the 4,800 level. Right now this morning it's above the 4,900 level, acting pretty well. And in that sector, we continue to see strong performance by individual stocks in the technology and specifically in the biotech sector. Uh, a lot of stocks there continue to hit new highs, stocks like Biogen, Regeneron breaking out this morning, same with Edward Life Sciences, symbol EW. So a, a lot of things acting very well there. The S&P 500, it dipped below the 50-day moving average last week. This morning we claimed that 50-day moving average, so it should find support at the 2060 level, right around there, it's above that now. But very well, it still may trade down to the 2000 level. Uh, and be in this trading range between 2100 and 2000. That's to be seen. Dow Jones Industrial also dipped on the low, below its 50 day moving average last week, and this morning it's back up above it. So the volatility kind of continues. However, uh, if you look at small cap stocks and mid cap stocks, those indexes are clearly outperforming the SP 500. So if you're trading ETFs or indexes, you might want to lean towards those small cap stocks and mid-cap stocks and the reason being is uh, the sort of general theme playing out here is the strong dollar will affect the large multinational stocks but it won't affect the stocks that are doing well in mid-cap and small-cap space. So if you look at the indexes those are doing very well. Now however if you go back and look at individual stocks it brings us back to the large-cap stocks that are leading technology and healthcare. Specifically if you look at uh, semiconductor stocks those continue to hit new high stocks like NXPI, Skyworks, Abigo, uh, Ambarella, the ones we've talked about here many times, those continue to be very strong. Uh, in the biotech space, you know, as I mentioned again, Biogen, Regeneron, stocks like that continue to do very well in a lot of the healthcare sectors. So uh, as crazy it may sound, the individual stocks that end up being in the large cap space, but the indexes tend to be in the mid cap and small cap. So just to reiterate here, you know, keep your eye on price and volume. If you're trading the indexes, look at the small cap and mid caps, those are the leading indexes right now. Whoever you're looking at individual stocks, you might still want to look at a lot of the names in the healthcare, biotech, and technology space. So as always, uh, price and volume be your guide. This is George Kachuk for RCM Wealth Advisors, reporting to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago. Have a great trading week.